She was extremely rich and the most titled aristocrat in the world, even more so than Queen Elizabeth. The Duchess of Alba lived a colorful life by her own rules. In her youth she was a pretty girl, but in her old age everything changed. What happened to her face? Why did she look like that? Who was her young, handsome husband, whom she married when she was 85 years old, how rich she was, and how her grown only daughter look like today? Let's talk about incredible life of Caetana de Alba. You are watching WOW Channel. Her full name is Maria del Rosario Caetana Fitz James Stuart Y. Silva, 18th Duchess of Alba. She was born in Madrid in 1986 in a wealthy aristocratic family. Caetano was the eighth great granddaughter of James II, King of England. As a child living in England, she shared toys with the future Queen Elizabeth II. They've been best friends all their lives. Caetana had 49 inherited aristocratic titles. This is much more than the Queen Elizabeth has. Despite this, the Duchess always respected and loved her friend. When Caetana was eight, her mother died after a serious illness. The girl had not easy life. In childhood, she traveled a lot with her father. The future Duchess received excellent education in London. Her father introduced her into the world of painting and the art in general. At the age of 21, Caetana married a Spanish naval officer, Don Luis Martinez. The New York Times described this ceremony as the most expensive wedding in the world. The bride looked incredible. Caetana walked down the aisle in a fabulous white satin dress with a gleaming diamond and pearl tiara on her head. Her new husband was an excellent shot, a skilled skier and a charming man, but from the beginning of this relationship he was overshadowed by his beautiful wife. Caetana has always attracted a lot of attention. She loved to go out and dance flamenco. The marriage produced five sons and a daughter. The couple lived a happy life. But one day everything changed. At the age of 46, Caetana became a widow. Her husband tragically died, leaving the Duchess heartbroken. By this time, Caetana was already a huge landowner. With 34,000 hectares of land of Spain, she had luxurious palaces in Madrid, Marbella, Ibiza and Seville. But the Duchess liked much more culture, not money. There were 219 paintings in her Lyria Palace in Madrid alone. Her library has been valued at over 20 million pounds. Throughout her life, the Duchess of Alba was treated as a living legend. Many international celebrities came to pay their respects to her. In youth, Caetana was an amazing woman with natural beauty, but in her last decade she became something of a figure of fun because of her eccentric appearance, habits and statements. She refused to live a conventional old age. Six years after her first husband's death, Caetana married a man eight years younger. Jesus Aguirre was a doctor of theology and a former Catholic priest. This wedding shocked Spanish society, friends and family of the Duchess. But Caetana claimed that the years with her second husband were the happiest of her life. Some people won't forgive me for having married an intelligent man. We are very happy together, we don't need anyone else, she said. The Duchess enjoyed active social life. Most of all, she loved flamenco and bullfighting. Over the years, there had even been rumors Alba was more than friends with a number of handsome bullfighters. After the death of her second husband in 2001, scandal erupted again seven years later. 
85-year-old Caetana had intimate relationship with a junior civil servant called Alfonso. He was 25 years her junior. That horrified her six children. They suspected her new boyfriend was a gold digger, but Alba really fell in love and ignored everything. The Duchess decided to marry Alfonso. The groom refused her wealth. The Duchess made public her will. She divided up her land, properties and money among her six children prior to the marriage. Her children reconciled to the match. After the wedding ceremony, 85-year-old bride kicked off her pink shoes and danced flamenco. She described her new husband as a fantastic person who changed her life. Caetana always displayed an eccentric, often outrageous fashion style. She had striking frizzy hair, sometimes dyed red, other times white. She wore loud dresses, lavish designer jackets, fishnet stockings and beaded anklets. She was a rebel who never chose to live by society rules. The Duchess decided to become a model of the plastic surgeon's table. Alba tightened her face to remove wrinkles, making her skin smoother and adding a little flush to her lips. She made countless plastic procedures on her face and her body. Although the Duchess of Alba has never talked publicity about it, experts believe that there have been many operations. Caetana has had breast operation, liposuction on her thighs and stomach, and tummy tuck operation, but it's unlikely that many people want to get the same look as the Duchess of Alba. She may be used as an example of plastic surgery gone wrong. It's no secret that Alba was obsessed with plastic surgery, and no one dared to tell her to stop. The Duchess is used to do only what she wants. That's why she had such a strange face in her old age. Caetana's only daughter, Maria Eugenia, is 53 years old now, but she doesn't look like her mother, because she realized that the natural look is much better. Three years after the marriage, the Duchess passed away at the age 88. At the time of her death, her net worth was estimated to be $5 billion. She was the richest woman in Spain. After her death, her fortune was shared along her children and grandchildren. However, her 64-year-old husband Alfonso didn't receive anything. So what do you think about the Duchess of Alba and her transformation? Please don't forget to share your thoughts with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a like, comment and subscribe.